What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new tutorial video. My name is Jan Ditters, also known as Typeful on Instagram. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to design with stripes. We are going to create a brush. And this brush you can, can apply to all different kind of strokes or parts. So in this video, we are going to create this number one. This number one is created in a series which I posted on Instagram. Check it out if you like. Search type for on Instagram. Okay, so first of all, we want to create the brush. Select the rectangle tool. We want to make a long, small rectangle. Give it a black fill color. And now we want to select the rectangle and drag it to the right side with holding option and shift. We want to make this line a thin white line. Double click on the fill color on the black color and drag it to the top left. Okay, so now we have one black line and a white line and now we want to select both lines and drag it with holding option and shift again to the right side of it and now we're going to press on command D for a couple of times okay so we want to delete this outer white line we don't need this anymore now we select all rectangles we are going to drag it into the brushes panel. We want to make a art brush, stripe brush two, press on okay. So we are going to delete those lines. If you don't have the art brushes panel open or the brushes panel, I mean, go to window and click on brushes. Okay, so for now we are going to create the basic shape for this number one so what we are going to do we are going to select the ellipse tool and we are going to drag a um, circle give it a black stroke press on ok select the direct selection tool select the top anchor point and the left anchor point and press on delete on your keyboard oh. okay so now we have the top part of the number one and now we are going to create the body select the line segment tool in the toolbar and drag a long black line next to the top part Okay, so now we want to select this top part. Press on Command C and Command V. Command C copies the element and Command V pastes the element. We want to turn it around and add it to the bottom side of this vertical line. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I think we can make this one a little bit smaller. Okay, give this uh, all the same stroke thickness. We are going to just make it one point. Now we are going to drag this diagonal, this horizontal line on the bottom part of the number one. Okay, select the line segment tool again and drag a horizontal line underneath it. Okay, so now we are going to apply the brush to it. Select the top part of the number one and click on the stripe brush two we have just created in the brushes panel. And now you can see it adds the brush to the part. So this looks kind of strange because the stroke thickness is too thick for the circle. So we are going to decrease the stroke thickness a little bit <clears throat> ok 
okay we are going to make it 0.6 that looks pretty good and now we are going to select the other parts and click on the stripe brush to brush again okay this looks kind of funky now we are going to set this to 0.6 as well select the bottom horizontal line hold command shift and press on your open bracket on the keyboard we are going to select this bottom circle press on command shift and press on the close bracket on your keyboard this sets your element to the foreground okay so for now this looks quite the same what you can do now you can now edit some shadows to create some more depth in the okay so this is how you create this striped effect and you can basically apply this to any part you want if you like this video please drop a like follow the channel and i will see you in my next video peace